As my network is always changing, I'm constantly moving hardware around. So I decided to put in a patch panel. But I wanted a patch panel that was designed for Category 6A and Category 7 shielded cables. So today I want to do a short walkthrough and installation of the TrendNet grounded patch panel, which is specifically designed for shielded cable. If you want to hear more about this low cost and backwards compatible patch panel, then definitely watch the rest of this video. And if you haven't already done so, then please subscribe and click the notifications icon so you'll be notified of new content and in addition, help support the channel. So let's take a look at the hardware itself and see what that looks like. As you can see from the top here, all the connectors are pre-installed. If we pop the hood open, so to speak, we can kind of take a look inside and how this is constructed. Now I've preloaded some of these here just for uh, demo purposes. This is where the cabling comes in and it, Basically, these, these clips act as a ground clip, so they'll actually grab around the shielding and actually ground that wire. And as you can see, they're very well laid out. So you have your first cable, second cable. So everything is nicely laid out, and, and the colors are there for A and B configuration. There's not a whole lot to it, but I did want to point out that there are grounding clips here. There is a ground wire here that can be installed to your rack or to another ground source. That'll ground the entire panel. And then there's, of course, a shield that goes across the top that we saw earlier. It's really a full featured panel, so we'll put it together and see how it works. Okay, so I went ahead and prepared the first cable for installation to give you an idea of how this thing goes together. I've already readied the, the shielding, and if you are interested in learning more about how to strip back the cables, I did a couple of videos on that as well, which I'll post in the show notes for reference. You're now ready to actually put it into the patch panel. Now, for ease of wire routing, your green and orange should be kind of pointing in this direction, and we'll put the blue and brown over in that direction. So we'll try this one first. So the first thing we're going to do is actually ground the shielding. Now we'll probably do, I'm doing this as temporary. Okay, so we went ahead and clamped around the wire. We're now ready to actually dress the wires, untwist and dress. So we're going to use the B configuration, and the B configuration, the first set of wires is the white green. So we're going to do the solid green. Let me untwist these. So there's the green. There's the white. And then at the top, we're going to do orange and white. So let's untwist this. So there's the orange and the white. On the other side we're going to do, uh, for the B configuration, we're going to do blue, blue, white. So let's do the blue first. So there we have it. We've actually just temporarily inserted these and now we're ready to actually punch these down. Now I just happen to have a trend net tool and I'm using the 110 which has the cutting blade. So we'll go ahead and just punch these down real quick. And there we have it. We've got it locked down. We've got a place where we can tie wrap back here for that extra security. And we're pretty much done with our first wire. In my case, I'm only doing the feeds coming from the wall. I'm not doing any other feeds at this time. So I'm going to go ahead and be installing this um, into my main feed rack, which is kind of a distribution rack. It's not where all the equipment is, but it's kind of where the dis distribution starts. So now that you see how this goes on and the basic construction of this thing, I'm going to go ahead and mount it up and finish the rest of the wiring and then we can see what it looks like when it's done. So here's the first phase of the finished product. I've wired in all the feeds from each room as my starting point and I'll be adding more drops and more home runs in the near future so I'll be filling more and more of this panel pretty soon. Anyway, overall I'm really pleased with this punch panel and the overall layout of the terminals, it's really easy to work with. I like that it gives supports for both shielded and unshielded cables, and that it provides ground connections, making it more future-proof. Given the price point of the traditional panel, this is actually a pretty decent value. I'll leave some affiliate links below for everything I've used today in case you want to check it out. And I hope you found this video useful, and if you haven't done so, please subscribe and show your support for the channel. 
Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.